In this new on writer review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software. I'm going to take you behind the scenes, show you how it works, and basically show you the results that you should expect from it. Now, new on writer isn't particularly a content writer. It's more a content optimization for SEO. Now, I've got an awful lot to go through, so I put the timestamps in the description below so you can basically navigate through the video and find out the sections that you want to go and view. With that said, let's get into the content and let's see what Neuron Writer is all about. The lifetime deal that they've got going at this moment in time is for $59. Now, I want to just explain a few things about that before we actually move on to the software. So for the $59, you get one project. Now, what that basically means is you can put one domain in there. I'll explain a lot more about that when we actually get into it because it will make more sense. You can also have 25 articles per month. Now, again, what this means is you can research and optimize 25 articles per month. And again, you'll understand that when we actually go through the process. Now, it does allow you to have 15,000 monthly words of AI content generation. Now, as I said in the, in the intro, it isn't specifically geared towards content generation, but you can. And again, I will be showing you that because it will actually make more sense. So that's basically the lifetime deal. And by the way, I've left the link in the description below should you want to go and check that out. When you first sign up to New Run Writer and you log in for the first time, you'll be asked to put um, a project name in. The project name is going to be your, uh, your domain name, okay? So once you've done that, you'll see it at the top here. Once you've actually put your domain name in, you'll be uh, presented with this screen. And this is where you're going to do all of your analysis. And if you remember back in the beginning, uh, you get 25 articles per month. And that's what the analysis are. You're going to basically do analysis on each article that you want to um, basically rank for. So what we've got over here, you've got exports. So obviously, once you've got a load of um, analysis projects down here, uh, you can export them. Columns are going to be these columns across here, and you can basically change all of these if you wish. And then you've got a load of filtration here. To actually create a new analysis, you click on obviously the new analysis button, and it's going to ask you what you like to rank for or create content for. This is going to be your keyword. Obviously, you've got your search engines here, language, and then you'd start. You can create multiple analysis all at once, but again, just be mindful that you only get 25 per month. On the advanced settings, you can put additional keywords in here. Obviously, that's what you'll be creating multiple analysis for. Or you can optimize an existing article. And this would be your uh, URL that you've put in here from your domain. You put the whole URL in there, and then that would create um, the analysis for the existing article because what it will do it will pull the article in and then obviously then it will do the analysis what i'm going to do i'm going to go through the whole steps of actually creating an article showing you how the whole system works um, so you get a really good feel for it so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put in a keyword okay and i'm going to basically create an article and uh, do the optimization for this article so we're going to click on start and what it does, if you see on the results side here, you can see that it's actually moving up. And what it's doing is pulling the data in from Google. Once it's actually finished pulling all the data in, it will give you a keyword difficulty and uh, you'll be able to then create, um, so, sorry, start creating the actual article itself. So to start the whole process off, you click on view. And what this will do, this will view all of your competitors that are actually obviously ranking on page one it's, it takes it all the way down through to 30 okay but obviously you've got page one um all of your 10 results and what you can now do is choose the ones that you want to do analysis for um to carry on so it's predefined as the first 10 uh you can do obviously the whole of the 30 if you wish to You've also got videos here that show you how to do each step as well um so they've got a really good training system uh, in place so that you can come in here but really the software really it's self-explanatory uh, there's not a massive learning curve to it at all once you've basically chosen the ones that you want you're going to click on next and then this brings us into the content editor so there's basically a few parts of the content editor. So what we're going to do first um, i'm going to show you these two buttons here so you've got the content editor where we are now and you've also got the top analysis. If we click on top analysis, this gives you like an overview 
um, of everything that you've just done the analysis on. So obviously we've got the keyword difficulty, everything here, and this is basically showing you all of the top 10 results. You've got the competitor breakdown, okay, so you can do a page authority, uh, the mods ranking, external links, etc. So you click on each one of these and it's going to give you all of the data here. So if you've got page links, it will show you how many, you know, basically how many links that they've got coming back to the pages, etc. It then shows you the structure. Okay, so this is allows you to obviously click on here and then go and go and view the um, the article itself in Google. So you can basically see how it's all been laid out. You've got the SERPs and the layout feature. Again, this is a very similar thing. And it gives you like, if they've got iframes on there, they've got forms on the site. On the keywords idea section, all of these keywords here are basically what the competitors are talking about in all of their articles. And again, this is what's been done with the analysis. And then on the content terms, again, this is all the content that the um the competitor articles are actually talking about and then here you've got again you've got the the how-to video on this actual section itself if we go back to the content editor it's a very self-explanatory editor like a lot of them are this is where you can actually paste your article content in so if you remember back you can either pull one in from a url if you've already got a content written in Google Docs or something like that, you can then just paste it in here. If it's already been formatted, it will format it here um, using H1, H2, H3, um, and then it will perform the analysis. Obviously, we've got the metadata here, which is obviously going to be your title and your description. Across here, this will become more apparent when I actually load an article in. But you've got how many, obviously, H1s that you've used in the content. You're only going to have one H2s, um, all the bolds in the content, pictures in the content. This is going to tell you how many words that you've got in your article compared to the competitors. And this is the readability score. Obviously, you've got save your document there. You've got load a revision of the document and export it. Now, you can export this into um, either HTML, basic HTML, or you can copy and paste it. So you can copy it out of here and you can then copy it into um, like a Google document. You can also import an article as well. So what you can do, you can try and import uh, an article from one of your competitors, do the analysis on it and um, do either, you know, break the content down um and use sections of it etc i'm going to showcase this shortly this draft article okay i'm not going to put anything there at this moment in time obviously down on the right hand side we've got the content score and again this will become more apparent and i'll show you more about this um when i've actually got an article in there so i'm going to click on the draft because what this allows you to do is create a draft article. So as you can see, we've got the headers in here. So you've got H2s and H1s, and this is all the um, all the headers that your competitors have got. You've got the meta description here. And again, you've got all the meta description from your competitors. You've got the assets, um, which is going to be um, obviously if you've got like videos in there or you've got your pictures. And then we've got the guidelines as well. So uh, if you want to create a persona, tone of voice, article goal, and call to actions. So to actually start creating a layout, if we go to the H1 section, now you can either add an empty section and create your own H1, or you can create one of these from like one of your competitors, and it's going to put it in there. We then go to the H2s and you just literally copy all of these across for the ones that you want to have. Now, I'm not going to spend all my time creating an article because I don't want to be wasting time in the video. But this is just really to show you how it actually works. On this section here, you've got the question section. So, again, you can put these at the bottom of your article. And, uh, you know, you can do like the frequently asked questions and then you can put all your questions in here that people are, are asking for. You can also do obviously the same thing with the meta descriptions. So you can choose whichever one you want and then go into the descriptions and then choose that one and obviously then make amendments to it. Along here, it's going to give you um, what it's recommending. So long distance, road trip, car travel. So you can kind of change these. Um, and if you put like something like road trip in there, it's going to highlight it. Okay, so you can obviously then optimize your 
um, your meta descriptions and your meta title tags. Once you've actually created your article outline, you then copy it to the editor. That then puts it into the editor and you can then start doing your um, your content optimization. Now on here, obviously you've got your, your H1s, H2s, H3s. You've got expanding notes here. Now what this does, this basically tells you all about um, what the competitors have written. So it kind of gives you a reminder of some of the, the keywords that you really need to be adding into the document itself. And obviously you can see down here that we are starting to light up some of the green um, through the actual headers itself. So we've got long distance road trip, uh, get your cat, etc. As mentioned earlier on, it's not really designed to be a content um, like creator, like a in the familiar AI writers, but you can do that. So it's in beta mode at this moment in time, but what it will do, it will create like um, part of your article or an intro for, for each one of these headings. So if you click on that, obviously you've got the heading, which is gonna be um, how to travel long distance with your cat. Um, you can also put, um, include some following terms in there. And if you want to, you know, add a few extra keywords in there. And I, you are, you are going to click on generate, or you can change the generation settings here. Now, the generation um, settings basically mean um, the quality of the content, or as it says here, the more reliable content that it's going to give you. So if you go for nine, obviously the content's not going to be as reliable as if you choose number one. And if you remember back um, in the very beginning when I talked about the lifetime deal, you get um, 15,000 generated AI generated words per month and that's basically from this now what I have found out is if you choose the higher options you get up to 70,000 generated words per month it's set to three as um, the standard setting so you would click on generate and then basically what that will do that will give you um, the output here so you can either regenerate again but again obviously that's going to be using all of your credits up so as you can see here AI used uh, AI words used so far is 74 out of the uh, the 15,000 you can also do pay as you go credits should you wish to and then you click on use text and it will put it in here so as you can see now as I'm starting to add the content um, our content is going up here and it's telling us that we still need um, like 13, 1347. And we have got um, a readability at the moment of 70, uh, which is obviously plus 16. You get the ideas from here. So the top word count is um, 1464. And uh, the readability score is 54. That's taken from the top 10 articles. If you look at the top 30 URLs or the top 30 articles, um, it gives you um, a score of 50. And what I'm going to do, I'm now going to load an article in that I've created already um, so I can actually show you how the content score actually works. So this is the completely optimized article um, as far as I was going to go with this actual article itself. So as you can see, I've now got 1547, which is a plus 83. So again, if we looked at that, it should have been around about 1464. But if you look at the top 30 articles and it's 1555, so I'm probably a little bit over the sweet spot. If I'd done for about 1500, I'd have been about right. My readability score is um, 43, um, so minus 11. So I'm pretty much on par with where I want to be. If you look at the complete content score, I'm now getting into the green. It shows you the competitors here, which uh, like the top one position is 40, the top 10 complete is 43. And the complete top four, uh, top 30 rather, is 34. We can see now that all these are starting to light up down here with the extended content. The ones in Amber are actually telling us that we've probably gone a little bit over um, what it suggests or the ones that have been uh, brought in and gone through the analysis side of it. If we click on that, we can basically highlight the terms and we can see where they are in our in our documents so obviously we've got cat litter and we can obviously make changes to those to bring those down so obviously i've got it in three um three times and it basically saying that all of the documents only had it, had it in one to get rid of these highlighted text you just basically click on disable highlights and it will take them away 
if we look at the complete overall score, it will give us all the breakdown of what, we, what we've used and what we could potentially do to carry on optimising it. They do recommend that you don't really want to be optimising to 100% because there's not really any articles out there that are optimised to 100%, although you want to get it sort of like, you know, relatively close to around about 60 or 70% of what your competitors have done. And if we head over to the meta description, what I was talking about earlier on, and uh, obviously the meta keywords, it really just sort of gives you an, uh, an example of, of how you can optimise um, both your title and description to, um, you know, obviously get it to as close to the 100% as you possibly can. When you've actually finished and you've created your article, you can click on export. And this gives you like the raw HTML, minimal HTML and formatted text. So if you click on formatted text, it will copy it to the clipboard. We can then head over and we can paste it into our article there. As you can see, the Neuron Writer is a really good bit of software. It's simple to use. It's got a really good workflow and it does what it says on the tin. You can put articles in here and you can optimize them for SEO. There's a few niggles that I don't like about this moment in time. One, I think they could probably extend the amount of articles that you could do analysis on. It'd be even you know, helpful if you could do 30. At least then that gives you the scope to sort of, you know, keep swapping and changing because you're not going to take one keyword, put it in there, and you're just going to go ranking for that. It basically means that you're going to have to do a fair bit of research before you put your article in there to do the analysis on. I'd also like to see a few more AI words that you could generate. At this moment in time, it's 15,000. If they could knock it up to 30,000, that would be a lot more helpful because you could flesh out your content a bit more. And although, you know, you wouldn't be sort of using all those to generate the whole content, but you could certainly flesh it out to give you a lot more ideas. They're not deal breakers by any stretch of the imagination, and they've got a really good roadmap in place, which I can definitely see that this software is going to be one of the better ones to be using in the future. That being said, the deal that they've got this moment in time is an absolute steal, and it's worth grabbing. I've got this now in my tool sack. I really think this is going to be a good bit of software. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon.